Thanks for coming. I know it's been a crazy week here in New York. We appreciate you making time to come and see us. It's always a pleasure. <laughs> well, let's talk about this. Everybody loves a happy ending. Your first album together in 15 years. And mm. Kurt, you said that, that one of the reasons for doing this record is the fact that we can be defined by our music and not by a decade. It would be nice, yeah. Unfortunately, when you make, uh, when we, we made three albums together and um, they were done in one decade, they were done in, in the 80s, and so you, you get constantly labeled as like an 80s band, and it would be nice just to be labeled as musicians. Yeah. Is that frustrating to sort of have that stigma hanging? I mean, it's not fair. How do you, how do you break well, that? It's our own fault, though, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> you know, we, we should have made more. We records. completely ignored the 90s, you know. Um, we never, we never made a record together in the 90s, and it's, you know, we should have called this album It's Like the 90s Never Happened. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it's, it is a, it's a pain in the uh, butt, without question, but that's, that's, that's the challenge. That's what we have to do. We have to go and take this uh, album out on the road and, and prove that we can uh, make contemporary music, which doesn't sound contemporary at all. <laughs> Sounds like the 70s. Yeah, we're going back yeah. in time to the 60s and early 70s. Yeah. Um, we said that Seeds was sort of the sound of John Lennon and that this album is the sound of Paul McCartney. Is that yeah. a conscious choice going into the studio or just the way things evolve? Once I think it's the, time, it's the time of life we find ourselves in. I think that, um, I mean, a lot of people obviously identify with John Lennon and uh, his whole, you know, his, his aggression, his, his angst. Um, and that, that's kind of, we identified with it, but when we were a little younger and uh, we find as we get older, that the, the shall I, dare I say, trite philosophy of Paul McCartney is extremely appealing. <laughs> and, and in terms of having the luxury of time, this time mm. I have to sort of sit there, play around with things, and see what sort of strikes your fancy. Was that was that fun? And it's, it is tedious and it's laborious, but. Mm. That process as opposed to being forced well, together. The, in time. I mean, the writing and recording processes was probably, um, I mean, this record's been the easiest one for us to ever make. Um, it's probably, it's been the most enjoyable, that's for sure. Um, and, and it, I mean, this is the quickest record we've ever made. Mm -hmm. um, Albeit spread over years. Yeah, exactly. But if, you, if you put all the time together. together not, not much. Yeah. Um, so in that, in that sense, it was, um, it was relatively easy. Kids growing up mm -hmm. in bathing, how'd you first meet? Well, it was, um, I was living outside of Bath and I came into the weekend, for the weekend, to stay with my best friend from school. And he said, oh, yeah, let's, let's go and knock on this guy's door and we'll all get together. We trundled off to the Snow Hill flats in Bath, and it's what we call state housing, or what you call the projects, I guess. Yeah. And um, we, a couple of flights of stairs knocked on the door and this little very dark guy answered the door but he wasn't allowed out because he'd I think thrown someone down the stairs or something and I thought yeah you know, I thought the first time I saw him I thought why oh, is it is he a gypsy Indian I thought you thought I was Indian or Romanian or you know name of the band came from the teachings of Arthur Janoff yeah. how, how, how did that come about and was it a pretty quick decision that yeah this is what we'll go with I guess I was, I was in adolescence and I identified very much with the fact that um, in a sense we are born victims and you know, our, you know it's like, you, like that old, old saying, your parents screw you up. You know, and I, both of us <laughs> identified with that very much so because we weren't, we weren't, our own, we weren't grown men. Uh, we were still very much part uh, under the cosh, under the thumb of our family. Well, the excitement and the anticipation surrounding this album is, is huge, and people are really looking forward to hearing it. Is there a tour lined up down later on the fall? Yeah, we mm -hmm. start um, October 23rd, I think it is. It's, it's like four to five weeks just in America to start with. Well, listen, thanks for making the time for us today. Thank Pleasure you. to have you here. Best of luck with the new Thank album. You. Thank you.